What is up, sexy beast? Bald washed up YouTuber here, and today I got a pretty cool series for you guys. So today we're gonna be seeing how much ammo it actually does take from the AK-74U to take out George Romero. And we're gonna be doing this series with a lot of other weapons that are actually in Call of the Dead. We're gonna be doing it with the sniper rifles, the wonder weapons, the pistols, other wall weapons. We're gonna be taking every single weapon from Call of the Dead and just seeing how much ammo is actually required to take out George Romero. And I would actually love to extend this series to other boss zombies, so if this is something you guys would like to see, let me know down below. In case you guys never played Call of the Dead and Black Ops 1, let me give you guys a little bit of information about George Romero. So George Romero is the main boss zombie of this map, and he's incredibly annoying. In my opinion, the most annoying boss zombie in the entirety of Call of Duty Zombies. And he is a huge, huge annoying cunt. But, if you know what you're doing, you can actually take him out pretty easy, and once you do take him out, you do get a pretty good reward. If you've done the Easter Egg, you get a free perk and the Wonder Waff, but if you have not done the Easter Egg, you get a free perk and the Death Machine. So in Call of the Dead, it actually is very, very easy to actually acquire every single perk. Now when it comes to this man's health, a lot of people may not understand how he works. So George Romero has a set amount of health, and he has a lot of it. If you're playing solo, he has a quarter million points of health, 250,000 points of health. And for every player, you add another 250,000. So if you have two players in the game, he has half a million. If you have three players in the game, 750,000. And if you have four players in the game, his health goes up to 1 million. And for this series, we're just going to be taking a look at how long it takes to kill him solo, and just by doing some ghetto math, I can give you guys the answer for 2, 3, and 4 players as well. But George Romero basically has two different states. One is a calm state, and one is an angry state. As long as he is in water, he's going to be calm, or if he's in an angry state and you take him to water, he's going to be calm. The only way to actually enrage him is actually shoot him or cause him damage through a grenade or actually through shooting a zombie next to him and that zombie explodes. Or if you shoot a zombie that's in ice and the ice hits George, that will piss him off. Or if you shoot him or if you just knife him, really any kind of damage to George Romero will piss him off and he's just going to run straight after you and he's pretty fucking fast. And like I said before, the only way to actually calm him down is to get him inside the water. Now a lot of people seem to think that he regenerates health if he's inside the water or if he's outside the water. He does not. Once you actually start bringing his health down, it never does come back up until you actually do kill him and he does respawn. Alright, so now that everybody sort of knows how George Romero works, let's see how much ammo it actually does take to kill this man. So, we're going to be taking a look at the AK-74U, or when actually upgrade to the AK-74FU2. Now this weapon is probably regarded as one of the best weapons in Black Ops 1 Zombies, and hell, even in Black Ops 1 multiplayer. I, I really did enjoy using this weapon in multiplayer. It wasn't the best, it wasn't like up there with the FAMAS, but it was still pretty good. And in Call of the Dead, the AK-74U is actually located at the bottom of the lighthouse. Now once you actually upgrade it, it's going to hold 320 shots. Now the AK-74U does about maximum 190 points of damage. So if I take 190, the most amount of damage that this thing can actually do, and multiply it by 320, which is all the ammo this thing actually does hold once fully upgraded, you're going to get 60,800. So, with all the ammo this thing actually does carry, the maximum amount of damage this thing can put out is 60,800. And you might be asking yourself, well why is that important? Because if we do some ghetto math and we divide George's health, by that number, we can see exactly how many AK-74Us are actually going to be needed to take out George Romero. So if we take his health, 250,000, divided by the maximum amount of damage the AK-74U can do, 60,800, we're going to get 4.1. So by doing ghetto math, it says we should kill George Romero with 4 AK-74Us. So I went ahead and did the test, and that is exactly what I got. It took me roughly about 4 AK-74Us, or 4 max ammos, well, technically it'd be like 3 max ammos, because like once you upgrade the weapon, you already have full ammo, but I'm just going to go ahead and say 4 max ammos to sound a little bit nicer. So it's going to take you 4 AK-74Us full of ammo to actually take out George Romero at full health on solo. If you are playing with two players, it's going to take you 8 AK-74Us. If you're playing with three players, it's going to take you 12. And if you're playing with four players, it is going to take you 16. And the only bad part that I can see about this is the AK-74U doesn't carry that much ammo, so you might not make enough money to actually keep going back and getting more and more ammo from the wall. So unless you have a shit ton of points to begin with, you might be losing a lot of money. And depending on really how well your aim is, you could always get that number down. Some of these shots I completely missed. I was doing my best to hit him in the face, but every now and then he would duck under my shot or move so I would actually miss. But I do think maybe if you hit every shot in his face, you can maybe get that down to three. But I highly doubt it because this man does like to move a lot. And in this footage, I was using no clip and god mode and a command to actually give me max ammos. So that is actually how I was able to do it all. And the AK-74U really did surprise me. I thought it was going to take a lot more max ammos to actually finish George off. Just because when you're actually playing in zombies, it just feels like it takes forever to kill George Romero. But when you actually sit down and you can actually give yourself max ammos, you really start to see that it doesn't really take that much ammo to actually take out George Romero. So it's going to take four AK-74Us on solo to take out the big boss zombie. And I'm very curious to know what do you guys think and what weapon should I do next and what boss zombie should I do next. I would actually really like to continue doing this with George Romero and then switch out to other boss zombies. 
So let me know down below. And also, real quick, thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. It really does mean a lot to me. If you guys are curious about being a Patreon supporter, go ahead and check it out. Link will be right down below. And also, while you're down there, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also, I have a couple sponsors down there that you should check out. I will talk about those more in my live streams. And last but not least, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.